Hi, this is um, Susie, Gemma and Katie and we're here doing our first instalment of Shiny TV which is basically us getting in a room on a sofa, sitting really close together and having a bit of a chat. So, um, Katie, what have you got with you? Well, since I'm the gadget girl, I bought in some gadgets. I bought in this uh, new Logitech Revolution MX mouse which people are so excited about. This has been it's almost like it's it's some sort of car. They're taking it apart. They're yeah. obsessing over every yeah. detail. They're just absolutely loving it. Are we missing something? I mean, is this a mouse that turns into a cat? Well, I'll t what it does is it's got this amazing scroll wheel on, which kind of once you've once you've sort of s you can spin it freely, but you can also set it to how fast you want it to go, how much you want it to accelerate. Yeah. It's also got this is like a search button. So you you like if you're over a word in a document and you want mm. to know what it means, you can just highlight it over that and press that button and it will look it up on really? whichever there's only a few search engines there's like Google and a few others uh, this Clever. this little thing on the side um, will flip between documents or you can set it to zoom depending on you can oh, you can great. like program the thing it pretty much do whatever you like so it's all it's all really good um, and I thought it was it was brilliant except that it's it's massive for my hand and again all these mice are always designed for boys mm. well I've got small hands let's have a look I find I it too know, I big. I like it. I mean, I've got really, really tiny hands. I just like the rest of me. I just like um, <laughs> I like little, I like little size hands, hands, Gemma, as they like to call you. <laughs> yeah, if I was a man, I'd nothing to get excited about. Gemma, mini hands. hands. <laughs> yeah, the um, the um, I think I just like the small mice. It's maybe because I had RSI quite a lot, and um, I yeah. always found the map that whichever mouse I was using was important. So this is the laptop version, which is the. VX, I think, yeah, the VX Revolution, um, and this hasn't got quite as many things on it. There's no side little fast scroll bar thing, scroll wheel, but there is a zoom slider switch, and there's a back and forth key, and there's the quick look up, and it's still got the same programmable That's my favorite thing. spinny bit. You also have hours of yeah. that. a little slot for um, the Ooh. bit that you plug into the, dongle, you the laser bit. That. I always yeah. use things like that and find them like in the yeah. lining of my cheap handbags weeks mm. later. But I like this. This fits me a lot better. I like the size of it. I like the shape. Well, there you okay, go. Then you have but, one. But oh, and all that seventy nine ninety nine. Seventy nine ninety. It's seventy nine ninety nine. Yes, bloody hell. I have no shoes for that. Fifty nine ninety nine. Okay, maybe I'll stick to the touchpad. They're, they're, they're lovely. Seriously. They're great. But my goodness. You'd have to spend you've a lot really, of time you've got on your really computer love with your, your mouse. Love your mice yeah. to have one of these. Or have some serious RSI. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. They are cool though. We they are. Them. Very nice. Yeah. Christmas stockings near you <laughs> soon. <laughs> Darling, I bought that. you a mouse. Mom, can I have a mouse for Christmas? You just <laughs> have to leave the receipt in it, wouldn't you? My mum would just yeah. say, no, you've already got a hamster. For <laughs> 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 Not that note. <laughs> We'll start off next with um, Trash and Easter's Book of the Week, which I've been reading on the train on the way here. Also ties in for all the viewers of the fashion blogs. This is How to Be a Budget Fashionista by a blogger called The Budget Fashionista. Good Catherine, name. Catherine Finney is her real name. Um, it is a US-based book, so some of the information on sort of taxes and all that kind of stuff is not, not suitable if you're in the UK, but there's a lot of really good information in there about sort of... Uh, Buying things for cheap, basically. Is this more than a book about taxes? Please tell me. Oh, it is. oh, totally. That's just that's because <laughs> I've got some of those. Just and really boring. It, it begins with setting yourself a budget and how you can kind of earn yourself oh, a bit of extra budget. cash. But it then goes into a lot of information on uh, what to buy, how to uh, find your personal style, and all those things that I get asked about quite a lot on Catwalk Queen. It seems awesome. to have that self-help vibe where you have to fill things in. Mm. That take five minutes to fill in well, those. Size. There's, there's a bit yeah. like that, and there's a little quiz to find your style, you know, are you a, a fashionista or are you chosen We all like or being pigeonholed. It's or like Just Seventeen in a book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, I mean, like kids. you've sold it to me now. <laughs> it's that, just I have to have it. Now, Siemens have become BenQ Siemens, or Benk as I like to call them for my own personal <laughs> amusement. Um, and they, this is the um, pout phone they've got, which they've just bought out. Uh, it was the poppy phone originally, and now they've just sort of re badged it all and um, done a, a nice blue version. Gemma was the one who went along to the actual launch, so I think I'll let her talk about it. Uh, it's got all sorts of extra fashion things that, it is. that she I can mean, understand. The launch coincided with Pout's, uh, Pout is a little beauty brand with a shop in Covent Garden. It coincided with their party, so lots of celebrities there, people from America's Next Top Model and the like. 
Um, and the idea is this phone is actually in the game section. It's got like um, a little application which is five minutes to fabulous, which tells you how to do your makeup in five minutes. Um, and apparently it does scroll along in five minutes on the screen so you can follow along with your Power Ooh. Beauty products as you go. But the thing that we love about it, which we giggled about at first and we are like, oh, it's such a naff <laughs> girly thing to put on there, is the mirror. There's actually built-in mirror on the screen which you just get to by pressing the light button here. And uh, it's actually far more useful than you think. Well, this was one of those things where when it first, um, they started appearing on Samsung phones originally and then Siemens started putting them on theirs as well. Whenever I do a story on Shiny, we'd get so many complaints from people saying, oh, it's really sexist. And yeah, well, I thought And it, I, it was one of those things where when someone tells me there's a mirror on it, I'm like, yeah. oh, how sexist. Oh, yeah. just check my... Well, that's it. Me. Although, I think it only happens to me, but when I look in this mirror, it looks all cross-eyed. It looks all skew -if. But it doesn't happen to Gemma. It doesn't happen so to me. It's that. my eyes. Susie, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sad you have to find out. Yeah, way. it's a bit <laughs> embarrassing having to do it on camera, but you know, hey ho. I, I have actually been using it on the train to do my lip gloss, and I hate people who do the makeup on the trains, but you know, if you've got your mirror, you've got your lip gloss. I have an iPod. I basically I arrive at the train station in my towel <laughs> <laughs> and get ready on everything you need. I see that in the spare time for, for getting get dressed. Get in Katie's carriage. <laughs> yeah. It's all going on. On the subject of phones, actually, I've got... You've got a great laptop. Oh, I've them. got phones galore, ha ha ha. Um, but I'm going to run through each of these, and then I want you both to pick a favourite, okay? Oh. So, this is the Blackberry Pearl that you can see there, and I've actually done a video review of it after it was launched, but basically it's their um, email system that they've put into a nice consumer phone. They've given it a camera, they've given it a micro SD slot, um, and they're hoping to get people who alternatively would buy you know, a Razer or, you know, a nice Samsung or something like that, Samsung Ultra. They want to get these people, so the kids, to be using their email system. So, um, looks-wise, I think that's quite nice. It's got this pearl in the middle. Oh, so I'm going to go with this yeah. pearl because... Yeah. But the, the thing is... Oh, no, it's not. Mm, yeah, I know. A lot of people are missing their... Scroll, yes, though. I've already heard complaints. Yes, I would say it's not as fast oh, to get anywhere, nice but one. it's the kind of it's a ball that literally mo moves all around. If, the, if it my looks hand like a, the ball. it's like a deodorant ball. Like yeah, it is. So it's not it's not constrained it's to moving up and nipple. down. It does look vaguely sexual Very doing sexual. that. I found. Yeah. So that's phone number one. Phone number two is oh the O2 Ice. Okay. So it looks like the remote control from something. I think. See, this there is you phone, go. This yeah. is a phone everyone. I'm sorry, can too hate. So I was at um I was at a mobile phone um, judging panel the other day, and everyone was slagging it off. Yeah, I hate it. I had a white phone. It's really phone. strange. Oh, it's 3G, so it's got a camera there, so you can do video calls. I, I, Don't you think it looks really plasticky? Well, I, I like that about it. I had a white phone. I had the Sage and My X8, which was sort of quite similar, but it had tiniest buttons in the world. I remember your Sage and My X8. Which I actually really grew to love, just, but, and it was that kind of white iPod style thing. Mm. But I, I don't know, it does just remind me of like the remote control. It does. Yeah. I like it. I like it for all the reasons that you all hate oh, it. I just oh, think good. you can't make something. Yeah. Thing. No. Okay. All I, right. I think I'm pretty I'm much the only person in the world who likes this phone. Yeah. So I'm willing to. So there we go. Sale of one to Katie. Um. This is the ugly, but good. Virgin Lobster phone, which you can see there, and it is bloody ugly actually. It's got um, like a little hunchback. Hunch, yeah, look at hunch. that. <laughs> That's nice, isn't it? Um, it looks like someone's knocked it on the side, and this swelling has come. <laughs> yeah, it does. Up. But basically, when you connect your earphones, it has a little aerial in here, and this gives you, at the moment, I think it's five um, TV channels. Oh my god! And it's, it's over, yeah. it's over the digital, the digital airwaves, so it's yeah. actually quite good reception. And uh, for the most part, you get the same content as you would on the channel. So it's like ITV, BBC One, E4, Channel Four. Um, and something else. Oh, well, something you're only like limited to some If I can watch Scrubs yeah. on the train, then I'm living it. So, my question to you is, would you forgive the fact that it's very unattractive for the fact that you can listen, watch digital TV and also listen to all the digital radio? Yeah, I agree that, that, that that's a bit strange, that like curvy mm. bit on it, but it's, yeah, I could forgive that. And the screen's an alright size, isn't it, for yeah, TV? Yeah, fairly, fairly big screen going on on there. The only thing I'd say about it is, Quite often when you're on the train, you switch it on and it's like the weather or something. It yeah. would be really good if you could get like, you know, like Telewest on demand service. Yeah, so yeah. you, choose you could actually watching. go and yeah. pick a few things. Yeah. Or even better, a whole Sky Pass in there. Oh, never, that would be amazing. That's never going to happen. Oh my God. Well, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> never. But Technology will never get that far. <laughs> so, in conclusion, out of the plastic ice phone, the Blackberry Pearl, and this, 
What would you go for?